Hello and welcome Taurus. I am Pisces Intuition here for your weekly reading. Alright, so Taurus, keep in mind this is a general reading, so uh, not everything may resonate with your situation. That's okay, just take what does and leave the rest behind. Um, this week we're going to be looking into when or if they will contact you. So by this, um, I could be, or it can mean, um, you know, someone from your past that you've been thinking about. Um, family member, friendship, you know, romantic um, partnership, you know, whatever the case is, whoever you have been thinking about and wanting communication from uh, and vice versa. Um, so will this person reach out and contact you? This could even be someone that you are crushing on, someone you're in separation with. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and see if they're going to contact you. Will they reach out? All right, Taurus, so far we have the Palace of Cups. Okay. Palace of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Coins. Ooh, and the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death Guard. Um, so, yeah, underneath that Magician. Um, I do keep getting that you are calling each other back in. Hmm. So we have Palace of Cups, we have Knight of Swords, or Knight of Coins, excuse me, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. I do feel like there is a lot of love between you and this person, so I'm going to start off by saying that. Um, I do feel, however, with the Death card at the bottom, um, I do feel like there was, I keep getting a need for growth in this connection. So maybe that's why the ending happened because like I said, there was a need for growth, um, a growth that needed to take place, you know, separately, kind of like two separate paths is what I keep getting. And I actually got this for the sign of Aquarius as well. Um, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius, which, you know, we do have an air sign card here. Um, you might check that out too. It might give you a little bit of, um, you know, give you some more answers or something. Um, but again, just kind of letting you know, so with the Palace of Cups, like I said, I still feel like there's a lot of love between the two of you. Um, I still feel like a connection between the two of you, which again, I keep seeing these little, almost like a tether, like a cord. Um, again, I got that for Aquarius. So yeah, definitely check that out. Um, but I do feel like, you know, the two of you are very connected. I also feel like somebody kind of being hot and cold with the situation. And I also kind of feel like the situation needed time. Um, I feel like somebody was almost trying to kind of like, you know, I need you to talk to me. I need, you know, like communication, like, um, not necessarily trying to force it, but, you know, really kind of like, um, I keep getting impatient. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is like impatience or if this is, you know, again, just like, I keep getting somebody could be very, um, very talkative, you know, very, someone's very, um, loquacious, you know, um, and I like that. However, it kind of feels like the other person, it feels like both of you are pretty outgoing, but it kind of does feel like somebody really pulled the other one out of their shell. So one could have been a little bit more introverted than the other person. Um, you could be the introverted one, the kind of shy, soft-spoken one, while your partner could be quite the opposite. Um, or again, you know, it could... You know, it could be the other way around, um, but I keep getting that for the for this connection. I do still feel like there is hope. I do still feel like this person is going to communicate with you. However, I do feel like communication is going to take time. I do feel like throughout this time of separation between you and this person, um, or you know, during this time of no communication, I do feel like you have been on their mind. They have been thinking of you, wanting to reach out, but again, kind of going hot and cold, kind of going back and forth like I want to, but then maybe I shouldn't. Well, what if they moved on? You know, maybe I should just check. You know, I keep getting like kind of going back and forth with communication and then just stopping. I, again, I keep getting a needed space, you know, really needing to, um, to kind of grow. So I don't know if this is on like, you know, a personal, it does kind of feel like on a personal level, but it does feel like, you know, when you're growing, um, on a personal level like that, it, it's, for the connection, if that makes sense. It just means like you weren't ready for this type of connection yet. But like I said, it, one thing that I still feel is a lot of love between you and this person. So I still feel like, you know, you have both been thinking about each other um, over the years. 
and I don't know why I keep saying over the years. Um, I mean to say over time. So I don't know if it's been years, but I, I do keep, like I said, I just, I mean to say over time, but it keeps coming out as over the years. So I uh, take it how it resonates, I guess. Um, Palace of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Death card, and we have the Tower card. So yeah, so the Death card is here twice, showing me that there is an ending, a need for growth, a need to start all over. I need to put the past in the past. Somebody could be hanging on to guilt, could be hanging on to feelings of maybe I didn't get to say everything I wanted to say. Do you know how much I care? Um, you know, things like that. Huh. But I keep getting like hanging on with the tower card. See, I keep getting like abrupt. I keep getting ending. I keep getting, am I making the right decision? I keep getting a whole lot of chaos and a whole lot of confusion, chaos, needing to make decisions. I keep getting this really like um, overwhelming somebody here. Hmm. Somebody could have been going through a very toxic situation or a very painful time. So maybe that's why the connection had to end because, again, I do feel like growth needed to take place. We have the Queen of Wands. We have Five of Swords. And we have Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, what I keep getting is um, with communication, the Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, again, somebody wants to communicate, somebody does want to reach out, and I feel like one of you have. But I kind of feel like there was some kind of, I don't want to say manipulation, but it does kind of feel like some kind of argument, some kind of like, again, something going back and forth. Um... Hmm. But at the same time, it kind of feels like not wanting to let go either. See, I keep getting like like torn in two. And it's mostly because of this Knight of Swords and then this Five of Swords. It's like I do want to express how I truly do feel about you, but something's holding me back. Something's not letting me. It could be my own pride and ego. It could be because of past things that were said. It could be because of a lot of things. It could be because I'm dealing with my own toxicities. I'm dealing with my own tough situation. And I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to get through all the cloudiness and think straight. You know, because again, you see all the clouds behind this person. There's no sun. You know, and I do feel like there's some clarity needed in the situation. While one person is trying to provide that clarity the other person just doesn't feel like they're matching that same energy. I kind of feel like one person was really working through a lot of things at the time. But again, it still feels like both of you are really hanging on to the situation. It's like, I don't want to let this go. You know, even though I'm not saying this to you, I don't feel like I have let this go. All right, clarifying the Knight of Coins, we have the Four of Cups, we have the moon card and we have the page of wands. So yeah, um, you know, again, it's like I have been thinking about you all this time. I can't get you out of my head. Um, I feel like one person is starting to feel, you know, again, there's that confusion of, you know, I thought we had a strong love. I thought we had a strong connection. But now it's starting to feel kind of unrequited, especially if you were the one that reached out and have um, felt like you've just kind of been ignored or, you know, again, kind of got the cold shoulder from this person. Um, this person may have even blocked you at one point or again just didn't respond because I, I do get like a wall up so usually when I get that wall it's telling me that somebody's either been blocked or again it's just that cold shoulder of not responding but just because they haven't doesn't mean that they haven't thought about it and again I do feel like this person wants to I do feel like this person is still hiding their true feelings or tr their true emotions Like I said, there's still a whole lot of love and feelings here. So let's see what the Ace of Cups has to say. We have the Hermit. We have the Eight of Wands. 
we have the world. Yeah, I don't feel like this cycle is completely done. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. I feel like this person could be watching your social media. Um, if you blocked them, um, you know, there, there's ways around it. <laughs> um, I feel like this person could, have poss could possibly be looking from a friend's account or could have made a fake account, you know, um, just kind of check out your pictures, see where you are in life, see if you have moved on, are you happy? You know, it's just, it's that curiosity and it's just wanting to see you, um, you know, wanting to reach out because they have thought about reaching out. They have, you know, thought about you, but it's almost like I'm holding back. I'm not, I'm not going to reach out, but I, at the same time, there's that curiosity. I want to know what's going on in your life. Um, again, I do feel like the situation is going to be coming back around. I just feel like, you know, with the hermit card, somebody had to do a lot of inner soul searching, had to do a lot of thinking, possibly doing it alone. I keep getting exploring. I keep getting possibly traveling, you know, traveling the world, um, again, almost like self-discovery. So whether it's actual travel or again, just kind of, you know, discovering who they are, what they want in life, whatever the case is, I do feel like this person has spent a great deal of time alone, really kind of figuring some things out, um, has never forgotten you and definitely does want to reach out to you. Um, like I said, I do feel like communication is going to be coming your way. Um, so I don't feel like this is done and over. This person has completely forgotten about you or moved on. I, you know, will they contact you? Yeah, I'm feeling like they will. So let's go ahead and let's get some Oracle cards. Okay, so we have finances and career. So financial, oh, excuse me, we have another one coming out here. Um, financial, financial issues, excuse me, I can read, I promise, are a factor in your love life right now. So again, somebody, you know, they did have to do some soul searching, figure out who they are. Um, you know, again, there could possibly be some kind of travel. So maybe that's what they're trying to, you know, get their finances in order, you know, things like that. Um, but I do feel like, you know, again, that could be kind of affecting, you know, their, their means right now. Um, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, there is. There's a very strong, almost like a tethered connection between you and this person. I feel like both of you tend to really have that intuitive connection with one another where like, um, you're dreaming about them. Like you haven't thought about them for quite some time. Then all of a sudden you, you wake up and you're like, wow, I, I dreamt about so-and-so. I haven't thought about that person in, you know, a month, two months, you know, whatever. Um, and then it's one of those things where you're, you can be like completely busy at work. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> you know, a memory of them pops in or, you know, something kind of triggers a memory. And I just feel like it's that person thinking of you at the same time. So like I said, very intuitive, very connected. I need you. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this person, like I said, we made so many memories. Yeah. Like I said, it does feel like something was being triggered here, you know, um, as far as memories go, being very nostalgic. You know, I need you just means I don't want to give up on this. I do want you as a part of my life. I may not be able to admit it right now or tell you right now, but I do want to, and I will open up to you. I miss your kiss. Okay. One more, please. One more for this connection. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. And I got to show you the bottom of the deck. I'm trying. Don't give up on me. Um, another one did kind of pop out. It didn't necessarily pop out. Um, it had, you know, I was putting the one that shuffled or had come out. I swear I can talk. This one had flipped. <laughs> I was taking that one. And as I was putting the other cards back, I happened to notice another card that was on the bottom first. And it caught my eye because it was, I wondered if you'd moved on. And like I said, I do feel like that's why this person is kind of checking out your social media is because they do wonder, have you moved on? You know, have you kind of forgotten about them? Are you kind of over them, over the situation? Um, but this person, again, does have a lot of memories between the two of you and not just the bad ones. I know sometimes we worry like, well, do they have good memories of me? You know, yeah, they do. Um, not a day goes by that I don't think of you. Like I said, I do feel like little things, this person gets signs. Um, this person gets like, you know, triggered. Um, their memories are triggered by, you know, something and they just, you know, start thinking of, you know, things that you used to do together or, oh, that smell that, that reminds me of my person or, you know, that's the shampoo they used to use or the perfume or, you know, whatever. I do feel like it, it gets kind of triggered there. All right. So now when will this person contact you? We know they want to reach out. When? Oh, wow. 
Wow. Okay. So um, since this is a general reading, and that's, I'm going to get into this bottom for just a moment, but since this is a general reading, I wanted to take a few cards just to give, you know, a little bit of a timeline because it is going to be different for everybody um, today. So I do feel like you very, you very much are on their mind today. Um, the, <laughs> I don't feel like they're actually going to reach out today, but I feel like they've thought about it. In just a few weeks, for some of you, I do feel like this person will reach out. Um, on a holiday, and then on the bottom of the deck, funny enough, which is the next um, regular holiday, you know, or, you know, whatever you want to say, um, is October. So, next major holiday is October, you know, Halloween. And with the card on a holiday, you may be hearing from this person in fall time. You may be hearing from this person, you know, on Halloween. So anytime from just a few weeks, clear up till October. So just something to think about, something you may be hearing about. So, all right. Well, Taurus, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, as always, have a great rest of your week and take care.